killer. Please tell me I'm not the only one who says that part one, Naruto part one, is currently better than Boruto. Like, please tell me I'm not the only one who says this because, alright, like, even though episode 24 uh, was a very good episode, I will say that this is, you know, probably better than most of the Naruto Gaiden stuff. Uh, because a lot did happen that pretty much moved the plot. Oh, God, I, I just... I. Part, part one was just honestly just so much better in my opinion. Part one just had more compelling shit, honestly, and that's the, you know the big reason why I think it's better. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about you know you know the premise of this episode, which is episode 24 of Boruto. And like I said, overall this episode was pretty good. Uh, art style was pretty good. Animation was pretty good. Most of the dialogue between the characters was pretty fucking good. Um, the premise of this episode is basically that there is currently currently going on the Five Kage Summit. So the Five Kage Summit is currently happening again, uh, except with all these new Kage. And basically, Naruto, you know, summons all the Kage that show up in uh, the Leaf Village to basically discuss over this new premise of, you know, a villain coming around. And that's basically why Kaguya was setting all this uh, this big fucking army of all these white zetsu and so basically Naruto is explaining to all the other kage that whilst uh, you know Sasuke was out doing whatever the fuck he was doing uh, he kind of just found out this something was gonna happen and basically it's another you know emissary of, of a person trying to show up to the planet to basically fight Kaguya but you know it's whatever and of course that no, that person that we know is Momoshiki. So, you know, before uh, beforehand when Kaguya first showed up, she was getting ready to fight Momoshiki, but of course because Naruto and Sasuke had sealed her away, it's basically left to basically Naruto by himself to fucking beat M Momoshiki because Naruto and Sasuke are pretty much the only two people who can beat Momoshiki, but whatever. Uh, the kind of kind of what happens more so later on in the was the five kage sama is happening uh, They start like basically talking about maybe Shin was kind of like Had a valid point saying that you know without you know Fights going on between the villages and, and, and all this other shit, you know, just Basically, they're saying that all these Genin and shit are all fucking weak. They suck. They don't they're not gonna be powerful enough to be be able to protect the villages the next generation fucking sucks and they need to get their shit together and then naruto is kind of just like yeah well they're gonna be able to surpass us sooner or later so it's whatever uh side note all the all the other stuff that happens earlier in the episode and whilst the five kage summit is happening um boruto and sarada kind of have a little bit of conflict between each other uh does that's, that's i guess the main conflict of the episode i guess you can say it's just them two fighting each other but in the beginning of the episode there's kind of like uh there's supposed to be like this funny moment with mitsuki that actually made me like kind of smile a little bit because i thought it was kind of funny and that's basically mitsuki shift boruto and sarada together and said and he, he said they would make a good couple and they said no and throughout the rest of the episode i was like no i don't i don't like this i don't like that the that the show is self-aware that some people ship these two together. I'm like, no, I don't like this. Stop it. <laughs> but the show seems to be kind of self-aware that this new generation kind of sucks compared to Naruto, to you know, like basically Naruto in part one and all that shit, the last generation and all that. So basically, this is kind of just explaining and moving the plot towards, uh, of course, the Naruto animated movie, Naruto boards of the movie and all that so that's basically kind of like the whole plot of this episode which is basically just to say that Momoshiki is on his way and that they don't know when the hell is he going to show up but of course as we as we know from watching the movie or like most of us watch the movie we know that you know Mitsuki basically just shows up during the tuning exams but you know for whatever reason maybe they'll do it 
differently because of the anime, but it wouldn't make any sense if they did that, so fuck you. <laughs> but no, basically we're just kind of going the Dragon Ball Super route with a retelling of a movie that most of us have already seen. Yada yada yada. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. We kind of get also an explanation from Konohamaru uh, because Sarada is wondering, you know, how to basically make the Sharingan uh, more powerful. She also keeps it like a little bit more secretive between all of her classmates, especially Borto, because she wants to master master the Sharingan, fully develop it. Uh, before he actually, before she actually, you know, starts flaunting it towards everyone or whatever, so she's keeping it a secret. And also the other reason why she's hiding it is because Sakura is basically saying like, "Oh, you keep it a secret so you know people don't come fucking after you." Whatever, right? I was like, okay, that's a fair point, but like, can you not be like a bitch about it? <laughs> can you not be a bitch about it and just stop hiding your Sharingan? And Sakura, yeah, you make a fair point, but from the series, we, you know, you kind of proved that you weren't really the smartest person ever in terms of keeping something a secret, so whatever. Well, <laughs> so we also get a little bit of like fighting between, like, actual, con like, f physical conflict fighting uh, between Borto and Sarada. And choreography was okay, I didn't hate it, it was whatever. So overall, this episode was pretty damn good. Uh, it was nice to see all these, you know, Kage kind of like in one area uh, outside of the movie, of course. But all, the, all seeing all these Kage was pretty interesting. Kind of seeing um, the conflict and kind of the relationship that Sarada and Boruto have. It's kind of weird, but whatever. If you want to see the episode, of course, there will be a link down in the description for you to go and check out Crunchyroll where they can actually where they actually basically show all of these sub anime so if you want to watch sub anime there will be a link down in the description to Crunchyroll or if you want to go check out the other platform that they actually own you can check out Verve which they stream um, you know all anime like My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball Super, Boruto, uh, all, all these other anime that people just absolutely love so if you want to go check out Verve or Crunchyroll um, cr the Crunchyroll link will be down in the description and I don't really feel you know okay I'm leaving a link down to Verve considering that this isn't a sponsored video none of these none of these videos are sponsored um, hopefully maybe if I get this channel a lot bigger than what it actually currently is maybe I can get a sponsorship sometime but currently right now I'm just saying that Crunchyroll is one of the best places where you can watch sub anime and I would highly suggest that you go check out that website anyways I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video because there's really nothing else I wanted to talk about the episode other than all the Naruto Gaiden stuff was either okay or not really that great and then when this episode came out and I just saw it uh, today which you'll most likely, most likely be seeing this on Friday because I've been distracted playing a lot of destiny also check out my twitch stream uh probably later this weekend because i will be sh i will be streaming the raid so check out my twitch uh, that link will be down in the description uh, anyways all the naruto guidance stuff ended i thought it was okay i didn't really like mind it too much uh, i still need to read the guide and i i honestly really want to plan on reading it soon that's kind of been in the back of my head a little bit i just haven't had time to really do it uh, but then this episode came out, it was really good. At first I wasn't sure about it, but then I thought, how, look how good the, all the guidance stuff was, and then compared to this. And yeah, this is this was pretty good. So anyways, I'm going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. If you're brand new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. For future content, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.